everyone, Danielle here again. Um, I'm a physical therapist for Pappas Physical and Hand Therapy in Rhode Island. I'm gonna talk to you today about um, how to get up and down the stairs if you come into contact with like a respiratory disease like COVID-19. Um, let's start first with what's called sequencing your breathing with stair negotiation. So what you wanna do is make sure that you exhale as you step up onto the next step. So if you have to take a couple breaths in between steps so that when you get to the top, you're not very out of breath, that's really important to do. So what you wanna do is take a couple breaths before you start and just make sure you feel okay. You wanna take a deep breath in and exhale as you go up the step. And you're gonna do these slow. So then the next step, same thing. You're gonna take a deep breath in and out and you're gonna go up the step, okay? Some options are go one step at a time, okay? It's slow, but at the end, it's gonna conserve your energy, okay? So when you get to the top of the stairs, you won't be as out of breath. Other option, if you have two rails, use both rails, because that's gonna help you. You can put two hands on one railing and kind of turn your feet a little bit at a 45 degree angle, and then go up that way if you feel like you need two hands on a rail. If you use an assistive device like a cane, like I said in a previous video, with the walker, you wanna elevate it just a little bit because it'll help with some respiratory exchange and give you a little bit more support while you're out of breath. You wanna sequence the cane. Textbook is, um, the cane comes up with a weaker leg or maybe the opposite leg from the railing. I, I tend to tell people do whatever you find is comfortable. Some people prefer to put the cane up like that on the step and then step up. You know, while that may not be the safest, if that's what they, they find that helps them, then that's okay. Um, but what you wanna do is step up onto the step Take a deep breath in and then out as you come up and then bring the cane with you, okay? And you do that for every step. And you just take your time, there's nothing to rush for. Just go nice and easy with the stairs and try to minimize how often you go up and down them. Um, if, if your bedroom's upstairs and you're mainly sitting downstairs, um, make sure you're only going upstairs if you really need to. You know, this takes a lot of energy to do this, so try not to do it too much during the day. Um, and then if I think of anything else, I'll put up another video with stair negotiation. Take care, everybody. Stay healthy and wash your hands.